Okay, we are watching Checked Cookie playing Widow on Colosseo. This is Silver 2. That's what they said. I missed a lot of shots in the beginning that got better over time. I feel like I could have had much more impact if I didn't die that often. There's also a bit of typing in all chat, which I probably shouldn't do while I'm alive. I'm especially not sure what I, I should have done towards the end. I feel like I need to contest the bot, but in hindsight, maybe I should have gone left and tried to snipe them from behind instead. Um, I, I seriously doubt whatever the final scenario was going to matter at all. <laughs> um, we can we can go over it, though. But for starters, let's kind of just talk about Widowmaker. So Widowmaker is a feast or famine type hero, right? You have, offer very little impact, arguably almost no impact, if you aren't hitting shots. If you're hitting shots, you can carry any games all the way up through top 500, top 100, whatever, right? You can be absolutely, you know, owl. If you're hitting your shots, you are amazing. If you are missing your shots, you are throwing. That's just the life of Widow. You want to play Widow? That's what you just kind of live with. You do not provide value simply by existing. In fact, I, something, this is something I actually noticed kind of recently is that Widows that get a pick really early on are like, oh, I got a pick, we should win. But if you miss every shot after that in the fight, then you actually didn't do anything. It's a four and four. You know what I'm saying? Like you actually didn't, you, all you did was cancel you and one opposing hero. Like if you kill another DPS, you just canceled out one DPS on the other team. There's no reason that your team is more likely to win the fight than theirs. You have to kill a hero and do something about that. Even just body shot damage, right? Anything could be effective. But if you don't do anything beyond that one kill, it's not enough. That's number one thing to note. Number two this is a common problem I see Widows. Widows get kills when they don't matter, right? They get really excited because, like, let's say your tank goes in, right? Gets a pick on the support right away, and then you kill three people. You're like, oh, I killed three people I carried. But no, your tank getting first blood actually is the really big difference there. <laughs> That's actually what mattered. You kill everyone else when they're, like, scrambling and retreating. Those kills don't matter at all. Another example is your team, like, loses someone right away, and your team is getting rolled. You kill three but you still lose and they push the payload. Did, that, did your kills matter? Absolutely not, right? They, they don't matter because the fight's already over. This is just the problem with playing Widow. It happens to other heroes to a lesser extent, but the Widow especially, the timing of when you get kills is everything, okay? Don't look at it as how many kills did I get in the game. Think, did the kill I got help us win the fight or not? And if the fight was already decided, then the kill didn't effectively matter. Something to think about. All right, so let's watch this play though. Alright, see the Genji, see the Doom, I'll try to Doom, you're not trying to do good, right? So, already mistakes, okay? So, so let, let's think about it right here, okay? Every second when you play in Widow, you are on a timer, okay? Because remember, the other DPS on the other team is not doing nothing. They are spamming, they are using abilities, they are taking positions. As a Widow, you do none of those things. None of the things. Okay, even the Hanzo is just like stepping forward, body shotting people, that is way more value than you are adding. Okay, number one. So, so uh, it, on this timer, right? Think about this timer perspective, okay? From the moment that you step in, the timer has started. You must immediately start trying to get some value, okay? That's a reasonable shot, you miss it, okay, that's fine, all right? So, the Doom's doing a good job blocking you, all right? The moment this Doom leaves, you must take a shot, okay? But not at the Doom. But why not at the Doom? Doom has, I can't remember, I really got a patch now, but he has like 450, 500 health, okay? You're not going to kill him with this, plus he has a ton of mobility, all right? There's no reason to kill Doom. Kill anyone in the back line the moment this Doom leaves this spot. He's purposely blocking your team right now, right? With, with block, okay? This shot right here in the mortar, that was your shot, right? Instead, you look up, you're like, oh, let me try to shoot the Doom. First of all, you miss. Second... Look, the Doom already has like 600-something health, right? What, what the heck is this Doom at? 536, okay? This shot's not going to make a, any difference. You cannot save your end at this point. This is not your job. It is not your job to save the end. It is your job to trade right now and kill someone standing over here running in a straight line towards your team. That's what your job is, okay? So again, yep, your end is dead now, right? Great, you body shot the Doom for 120 damage. Fantastic. Okay, now the Genji's on you. Right? I, I think it's actually a wise call here to not try to fight the Genji, because the only way you win this fight is to is to kill like the Moira probably. Miss a shot, okay. Your team's trying to keep you up. I mean, I, I don't bother with this mine because the mine is the time it took you to fire the mine time mine is a, a time you could have used to try to kill the Moira. Right? This mine, not gonna change this fight. Okay? Zero chances mine changes the fight. But you taking a shot, killing the support? Maybe. Right? You're down two now. This fight's basically over. I think trying to kill more there is reasonable. I don't think you want to retreat here, right? Just. I. Did you even need to reload? I guess you didn't. Yeah, I didn't have a choice. Okay, so it's 
So first fight, already you did not provide any value. Okay. And did your team play well? Eh, probably not, but you didn't play any better than they did. You played worse than they did because you added, again, zero value. So never expect your team to carry you to fights, right? That's my that's my motto for, for all the games. Never expect your team to carry you through fights. If you want to climb, if you want to do well, you personally need to be the one who does well. Don't assume that your team is going to play well enough to, to carry you when you're doing nothing. So you should take that kick out of Kiriko. We need to catch up to them. All right, close. All right, great, so you got a kill. Here's the problem. You got a kill in Kiriko? Did that matter? Nope. Because look at, look at the situation when you kill this Kiriko. Right? Your team's in good position, set up over here. All right, the Moira is already dead. The team is all low. This kill on the Kiriko matters not at all. Right? Your team is clearly about to win this fight anyway. So this kill is effectively null. Like, your team clearly would have killed the Kiriko, and she wouldn't have been able to kill anyway. So that kill didn't matter. Okay, so Genji dashed into you. Now you're in a bad situation. Right? I think when mine there is a reasonable idea. Uh, I mean, I don't think this is not the way I would duel, but apparently it worked, so good. So this is a meaningful kill, right? In the sense that the Genji is now staggered, but the problem is you're really far away from the fight as well. So you're you're effectively equally staggered with the Genji. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna take you so long to get to the fight that by the time you get there, the Genji is gonna be there too. So you not dying was important because that would have been really bad because then you would have been so far back. But the fact that you killed him is actually gonna matter very little to the next fight. Also, it looks like your Anna came back to try to help you. So now you by being sort of out of position, right, because the Genji came after you, are now staggering your Ana by being back here. Like, you gotta get moving, because right now, up front, this is going to be a four on three, initially, followed by, you know, or yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a four on three for quite a while, right, until you get up there. So I think this is a dangerous angle to take when you know that they have a Genji, but that's fine. I mean, it's also a good angle if you can hit the shot here. I think this is a terrible idea to go. <laughs> okay, so you know the Genji's going to come out of spawn, right? You just killed him. He's going to come out of spawn, and what's he going to do? He's going to see you standing right over here, right? Either go this way or this way, and he's going to be like, oh, let me just triple headshot you with shurikens. But, right? This is an impactful kill. Okay, you traded, right? They also just, she actually walked forward and got a kill as well, but you've traded right now, so now it's going to be four and four. Right, so so one impactful kill so far. All right, you hit a shot of the Reaper. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess the body shot helped. It will give you half credit for that. So you know, one and a half impactful kills so far, and then you pop ulti for no reason, and then you die. Right, like why would you pop ulti here? You have 60 health. Okay, just just hide for a second. Like let your team heal, you, support you, right? Or, I mean. It's kind of tricky, right? Because you're in a bad position to begin with. So what I would say is you just grapple to get out of here. But the problem is you got to grapple the high ground to get that kill to begin with. No. And it's rough. I would have just played with the team over here, right? And like, yeah, the shots would have been harder, but I also wouldn't die here. And now, like, it's so easy to kill you from their perspective because you're off at an angle alone where no one can help you. No one can help you here. So, like, you got an impactful kill in Kiriko, right? And sort of help with the Reaper, but then you just throw your life away. So what, what has your advantage really gotten you? Not too much. Okay, you're up a up a support right now, but still, because the Genji, as I mentioned, is still gonna get there. Where the heck is the Genji? Oh, the Genji came as uh Casty, right? The Casty has arrived and you're dead, and now it's three on three. So, you know, it's like do you deserve to win the fight? I, I don't think so, because you got a kill, but the problem is you die right after for it, so it's actually not that helpful. So your team dies, right? It's a big stagger. I think it is reasonable. Now that you know that they don't have a Genji, right? Which you would know from checking the scoreboard, which you're checking all the time. I would peek this. Because you have more than enough time to get here, peek, potentially get a kill, and then leave. There's no reason to be playing this passive right now. Right? You can see where the robot is. You can see the fact that your mortar is staggered. Trying to get a kill here is a big deal. So, you put this mine there assuming that it's going to be a Genji. But again, there's not, there's not going to be a Genji. <laughs> and you should know that. Good kill, right? Impactful kill for sure, right? 100% really big kill right there. Okay, reason body shot. Uh, if you could charge a little more, you would have killed them, but that's okay. So I think you get too nervous for this Doom, right? You hear the Doom. Here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Once the Doom starts, right? The moment he, he, he pops it, just keep shooting. 
what's the Doom going to do, right? If the Doom tries to land right here, just walk off. You know? <laughs> like, there's, there's nothing, he can't, he can't kill you here easily, right? I would just step forward a little bit just to make sure that if he pops at me, I just walk off. And he does zero damage to me, and I'm perfectly fine. I also have Graffle coming up. There's no reason to let this ulti scare you enough that you walk inside this room like this. Okay, good, right? Impactful kill. Right, great kill, okay? Again, the fight's already over now, so all the kills after this are just gonna Your team's gonna win from this. I think even the, the last kill on the board the didn't matter. Okay, let's look at the situation. Get three. Diva's a little slow, and you're gonna be you're gonna be down your Anna. Okay, so what you should think right now is that your kid is currently gonna be four and five as they come out. All right, so Hanzo's there. You decide to challenge Hanzo. I think this is a dangerous challenge point because the Hanzo can just pre-fire to you. Okay, soldiers on top of you. Pop will deal late. I don't know why you're challenging this, but uh, your Mora saves you. Because right. like, let, let's think about this for a second. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's think for for a moment. Widow versus Soldier. Who would you rather be in this? And Soldier didn't even have Helix. He missed Helix, which is a bad miss. But he, Soldier without Helix versus Widow, close range. Who are you betting on here? Are you betting on you? Or are you betting on the the Widow or the Soldier? I'm betting on the Soldier, right? This is like way easier for the Soldier to kill than it is for the Widow. Why is the Widow when I try to fight this? You know what I mean? Just keep juking him. Right? Just keep juking him. You also grapple, right? Just grapple high ground. Do anything other than try to take this fight. The only reason you don't die here is because your Moira pops an ultimate to save you. Which is, well, I mean, she popped ultimate there, but then she, she goes over and saves you, right? But, like, this is not use, a good use of your time at all, what you're doing right now. Right? Once, once Corliss is fired, was, was fired, yeah, fine. Finish a kill. But I don't think that was a good fight to begin with. And I think that you were lucky because there's no way that you you knew that your Moira was gonna pop coalescence to save you there. Okay, you have to hit that Kiriko. I don't know why you're holding you're holding way too long. You just need to be shooting more. You need to be shooting twice as often, quite frankly. Right? You're... Okay, you so you hear the footsteps on the right, because guess what? You're standing in a position where the soldier's gonna be coming out of spawn, which is something that you seem to forget that uh Okay, well that was a heck of a shot. So Good job, but I don't think that's a shot you consistently make. If that happened to me as a soldier, I'd be like, no problem, I'm not worried about it. I Let's do it again. Let's run it back. Because <laughs> I do not believe that you can hit that shot consistently more often than I will kill you. I think you gotta hit that shot. Okay. Great. Hidden shots. All right, fight's over. Oh, you gotta... This is actually a good stagger. Yeah. Go with the Doom! Come on. Doom's an idiot. I don't know why you're an automatic no Alright, you pop ulti. Side. I'd be nervous peeking this because you just saw the Hanzo. Alright, good shot. Alright, you're just putting pressure on the Doom. It's fine. Right? I'm setting up for... Again, I don't want to be looking at Doom. I want to look at whoever's going to come out of spawn. Right, Doom right now is not going to matter. You should just reload. I would just reload and get ready. Right, now you saw there's a Bastion, right, again. You know, you, you put yourself in a tricky position, right, because you only have 17 shots right now. Kill the Moira, big kill. Right, Doom, unsurprisingly, jumps into you. Okay, he somehow doesn't get this kill. I think it's, you were far too aggressive up there. Right, for a team, for, like, you're, I can feel, like, the adrenaline here. You're like, oh, okay, I'm hitting shots, like, I just want to, I want to get more shots, like, let me go up here, but... If the Doom jumps here, you just kind of die instantly, right? It's very hard for your team to support you here. Like, your D.Va doesn't necessarily know that the D.Va has to fly up here right away. Even if the D.Va jumped up right away, like, you're still going to take a ton of damage and potentially die after that. Right? After I kill this Moira, I think you just drop. Right? Because the Doom's immediately going to come up and try to contest you, and he does, and then you take a lot of damage. Right? After I drop, I'm looking to say, hey, how can I get healed? Right? Because I know the Doom's going to keep trying to kill me. Well, the rest of the team, because I'm tagged on low. So I, I think that either A, you go up here, you kill the Moira right away and drop, or B, you play back here all the whole time. Remember your team has lost one because they were pushing the card. This is a really common mistake that people make, especially at lower levels. I would say all the way up through like low diamond, is that they forget that there's somebody has to be on the card, which is the reason why like, why is this fight so hard? It's because you're down a player. 
So if you just played slow from way back here, even if you got fewer kills, but simply kept them back, yeah, they cap it, you bring up, then you take a 5 on 5. Okay, good kill on the Anna. I feel like everybody really jumps so much. Yeah, I mean, overall, I would say that you're still playing well enough that I think that you deserve to climb out of Silver 2. You probably will. Um, I think that the other players in this game are clearly not very good. <laughs> but I think that you have a bunch of bad habits that are going to be problematic as you climb. Okay, I mean, that was bad of him to, to high noon, right? I think that usually he dies there for that. <laughs> I think the fact that you miss that is very unfortunate because I think it was the right call when you jump up and he pops high noon, right? You're already scoped. And then you like hit his shoulder, I think. Right after you hit the shoulder shot, I immediately go for cover. I don't know that you can make it, but I immediately fire and then immediately go to cover and maybe you make it. But yeah, you give away an early pick here. I don't think your team's able to convert. Nope, they're still going. I'm surprised you guys lose this game. Okay, you get stuck. Right, so this is a good example where you're just being like super aggressive. So you take this route, which is the, the quickest, but also the most dangerous route to the fight. And then you keep, not only here, like I can understand playing right here and trying to kill anybody who, who walks in front, but then you keep walking forwards, which puts you, right? I know you're like trying to help the Bastion, but you have to know that there's people here, right? You see your Reapers fleeing from somebody. I would like, at, at this point, I would hard scope this and hopefully kill the first guy who comes around the corner. Okay, right, now you take a ton of damage. Cassidy kills you. So your team is just kind of constantly staggered here. I bet that's probably what happens. This is just a lot of staggering. Doom's going for you again. Right. I think in this scenario, aiming at Doom is right because he's like very overextended. I don't know. I, I feel like you thought it was coming at you and you're trying to jump up, which I think is a perfectly reasonable plan if it was going at you, but it's not. He was super low. You had to know he wasn't coming for you, right? He had to go back to his team. Okay, you're stuck, and then you get killed. Because that was a bad grapple, you think, right? Because you could have gotten out of here easily with grapple. So now you're unable to take a fight, and the problem is you're going to get worse and worse areas to fight as Widow, right? As it starts coming up the bend. Fights get closer and closer, and it's not as strong for you. Alright, good kill. Right, so they're about to flip this point. I don't know why you're not aiming right here, right? Why are you dropping? You could just aim. You could just aim and shoot. What are you doing? You're trying to block it? I think, I think it's not your job to block there, right? There's plenty of people alive. <laughs> I know you were reacting to the sound, but you had to know it was physically impossible for him to be on high ground there. Uh, yeah. So I don't know why. why the, again, I'm, great. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised you hit that shot, but I think the soldier could have killed you easily there by using disruptor. I assume that the soldier did not have it, which is the only reason why you didn't die there. You're probably trash talking right now, which I think is a terrible idea. Just play the game, man. Kill. Let's go to the body shots right now. You see how low she is. Why are you in all chat right now? This is like a critical moment that you're throwing. Alright, so you have two fights here to potentially turn this around. Okay, that's a lot of missing, but you still manage to kill her. Right, so you trade. See, so you come back. You know, your team losing here is not your fault, but you're also not doing anything to win it. You know what I mean? It's like a four on four because you traded the Sombra and they killed you. Uh, you know, the fact that your team isn't able to hold here is not strictly unusual. Right, you get a good kill, Nomura. 
Oh, I can't believe you did not kill her right there. Also, I think it's absolutely insane that you decided to drop here. Right? Like, what is the... What is the thought process that goes into just dropping right now? This feels like tilt to me. You're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go out here, I'm just gonna man up and kill the whole team. Right? Like, that's bonkers. And now you've given up any chance to win the fight. Like, like you said, whatever happens at the end of this game is irrelevant because you just threw it away. For no reason, right? You could have been up here, you could have been picking people off, okay? You could have been ready to play the next angle, you could have been playing over here, you could have dropped down here and, and killed somebody. Like, you had so many options other than literally just jumping on the cart. There's no, there's no reason. Because remember, it's not, it's not even, like, they have to cap it, right? Because you guys cap. So they have to cap and then move it forwards. So it's not going to instantly win after, when it hits this point. You have plenty of time there. You did not need to drop. Yeah, now you have to drop, right? But, like, you just know what you're going to win. <laughs> okay, um, what's the overall takeaways? I would say, number one, I hate saying this, but I think that you're probably better than the average level of players you're playing against, and you probably are going to climb regardless of what I say or do, number one. Number two is... Uh, you need to maximize more shots taken faster. Number three, I'd say you're too aggressive at times. I think being aggressive is important, but I think that there's you're being aggressive and then dying for it, right? <laughs> like you want to be aggressive and you want to live for it. And you're, I think you you read opportunities, but you don't necessarily think about what the other team can counter you for. For example, if they were playing like Rhine instead of um, instead of Doom, I think a lot of those plays would have been totally fine. Right? I think you also rely way too much on flick shots to win. Like those fights against the Genji and the Sojourn where you jumped up in the air and killed her, I don't believe that you can hit those consistently. I just don't think anybody can. <laughs> like that's just like a very close directly down shot. I just refuse to believe that is a shot you can hit consistently. And as a result, you're going to lose a bunch of games where you're relying on that to win instead of just having good positioning and good like angle control overall. Right? Um... I guess lastly, I would say, yeah, don't don't type in chat, don't respond to people, don't interact with them, just play your game. You also could have won this game simply by being even slightly more active in important times instead of just messing around. Hopefully that's helpful.